Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be showing you some of the best wireless earbuds of 2021. Without further ado, let's begin. The true wireless earbuds market has never been more crowded than it is in 2021. With so many to choose from, finding the best Bluetooth earbuds can seem daunting, but the vast selection is actually a good thing. Not only are there excellent picks for everyday buds to carry in your pocket, but you've also got a slew of options that prioritize things like noise cancellation, fitness, lengthy battery life, and comfort. Even if you don't consider yourself any kind of audiophile, it's important to find a set of earbuds that sound good to you. This means different things depending on the person. Do you want head-rattling bass or something more balanced with an immersive soundstage? You want to find a pair with a good, reliable Bluetooth connection. All of the below picks check off that box, and enough battery life to last you through a normal day of intermittent listening. Sony WF-1000XM4 Two years after releasing its first set of true wireless earbuds, Sony has returned with the redesigned WF-1000XM4. Now smaller and with an IPX4 water-resistant rating, the new buds have the most impressive noise cancellation among all competitors, and they still sound phenomenal. Sony also includes memory foam ear tips that offer an excellent noise isolation even before the noise cancellation kicks in. Battery life is another area where the 1000 XM4 set a new bar. They can last for up to 8 hours of continuous playback with noise cancelling turned on, where most other NC earbuds top out at around 5 hours. The case supports wireless charging, and Sony has included its Speak to Chat feature that automatically turns down your audio and enables ambient sound mode when the earbuds detect that you're talking out loud. Microphone performance remains the weakest aspect of the 1000 XM4s, but it's totally passable if you're making calls at home. Apple AirPods Pro Even if they don't sound quite as magical as you'd hope a $249 model would, the Apple AirPods Pro still manage to be a great pair of true wireless earphones with noise cancellation. That's largely due to their winning design and fit, improved bass performance and effective noise cancelling. And now these true wireless headphones have been updated with spatial audio, a new virtual sound mode for watching movies and TV shows. Only works with iPhones and iPads running iOS 14. They're an excellent choice when you want to make a call or listen to music during your workout. Yeah, they're expensive at $250, but the good news is they tend to sell in the $200 to $220 range. Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds. It took Bose quite a while to get them into stores, but the new $279 noise canceling Quiet Comfort earbuds are finally here. In many ways, they're excellent true wireless earbuds, particularly when it comes to their sound and noise canceling, which is arguably the best out there right now in a set of earbuds. Performance-wise, they clearly have a leg up on Apple's best-selling AirPods Pro True Wireless Noise Cancelling Buds. However, the AirPods Pro's smaller design, somewhat more comfortable fit, and superior voice calling capabilities make it hard to declare the Bose the straight-up champ. Ultimately, it depends on what your priorities are. Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro the Galaxy Buds Plus fit my ears really well and have become one of the better true wireless values, sometimes selling for less than $100 online. And the Galaxy Buds Live, also discounted a bit since their original debut, feature a discreet and innovative open design, and I like to use them for running and biking. Now the $200 Galaxy Buds Pro, Samsung's long-awaited active noise cancelling model, have arrived with upgraded sound and high expectations. Yes, the Buds Live also have noise cancelling, but it's rather modest. The Buds Pro are mostly impressive, although just how good you think they are will ultimately depend on how well they fit your ears. The other caveat is that the Samsung's new 360 Audio Virtual Surround feature, similar to Apple's Spatial Audio, only works with Samsung's latest Galaxy S21 models. I do expect that over time, firmware upgrades will offer small improvements and we'll see some discounts sooner rather than later. If you're enjoying the video, then hit that like button and smash the subscribe button. Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2 The second generation Momentum True Wireless 2 aren't cheap, but this true wireless earphone choice is better all around than the originals, with a slightly smaller, more comfortable design, active noise cancelling that rivals that of the AirPods Pro, improved battery life, 
up to seven hours versus the original's four, and better noise reduction during calls. And if you don't like these Bluetooth earbuds in black, a white version is now available. Most importantly though, the Momentum True Wireless 2 have the same stellar sound, for True Wireless earbuds anyway, offering clearly superior sound quality to the AirPods Pro. They earned a CNET Editor's Choice Award in 2020. Use these Bluetooth 5.1 with support for the AAC and APTX codecs for devices that have APTX, like Samsung's Galaxy smartphone. Bowers & Wilkins PI7 After a long wait, Bowers & Wilkins has finally released a couple of sets of true wireless earbuds. The PI7, $399, and the PI5, $249 both of which are excellent and feature active noise cancellation along with a transparency mode. The flagship PI7 has a different driver design and sounds slightly more detailed and refined with a little more bass energy. They both sound excellent, but if you're looking for the absolute best sounding set of earbuds, the PI7 are arguably just that, besting the Sony WF-1000XM4 by a small margin. They also sound slightly better than the excellent Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2 and Master and Dynamic MW08. While the PI7's noise cancelling is quite decent, the Sony's noise cancelling is superior. I also thought the Sony did better with voice calling. It has better noise reduction, so people can hear you better in a noisier environment. And it has better battery life. The PI7's case does transform into a Bluetooth transceiver, so you can plug it into your laptop for APTX streaming or an in-flight entertainment system. That's a nice bonus feature. The PI5 doesn't have it but the Sony is the overall better value. However, if sound quality is your priority, the PI7 is worth considering if you can afford them. Hopefully they come down in price over time. The PI5 buds also sound excellent and are a touch lighter than the PI7. At $250, the PI5 competes directly with the $280 Sony 1000XM4. As with all in-ear headphones, you have to try them to see how they fit your ears. Bowers & Wilkins buds may fit your ears better than Sony's, and vice versa. Edifier TWS 330NB Edifier has a few different new true wireless earbuds, and most, including the TWS 330NB, are very good values. While the TWS 330NB buds are missing a sensor that automatically pauses your music when you take them out of your ears, they feature very good sound quality for the money. Decent active noise cancelling with a transparency mode, and solid voice calling. They have three microphones in each bud for noise canceling and noise reduction during calls. They're essentially AirPods Pro clones, and while the touch controls are a little limited, they are programmable using the Edifier Connect app for iOS and Android. You can also set the level of touch sensitivity. They have an IP54 rating, which means they're splash and dust proof, and battery life is rated at four hours with noise canceling on and five hours with it off at moderate volume levels. That's only okay, but you do get an additional two charges via the charge case. They're also available in black. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below which earbuds you like the most and why. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you on the next video.